And welcome back. Tom is learning all things financial this afternoon. Tom, how are things at the Resource Center? Things are always great at the Resource Center. You know that. We've been talking to Bruce for so many years, covered so many subjects. We have another one. And for those of you who are trying to plan ahead, this is the good one. Bruce, always good to see you. Good to be here. The cost of waiting. Yeah. Really something you need to keep in mind. Well, so today we want to kind of direct our conversation towards our younger viewers. Uh-huh. We'd like, now we want to try to give them some direction. We want to we want to try to give them some help in trying to figure out this thing called investing. Also, for our older viewers, remember this to be able to tell like your kids and grandkids what you know. Absolutely. So we want to talk today about the cost of waiting. Okay. Now, if you're a younger person, say you're 25 years old, all right? So if you're 25 years old and, and you're working, right? all right, if you just put 100 bucks a month away just to start, if you don't have anything, now granted, we want you to try to control your debt. We sure. want you to have a little bit of money in cash reserves. And then, now, let's assume you're there. Now, you want to start investing. All right. You can go, you can get uh, somebody like me to help you set up accounts, and then you just start putting money in. So let's use $100 a month. Okay. So you're young enough, you can afford the ups and downs of the market. So let's just say we buy $100 a month in like a growth mutual fund, all right? Now, over a long period of time, because we're going to do this all the way to age 65. Right. All right, so we're looking at a 40-year period of time. So we're going to assume a little bit higher than average rate of return, like an 8% compounded rate of return. Right. So now we want to do this just systematically for the next 40 years, putting 100 bucks a month away. And you'll find it, it may be a little tougher when you're younger, but it's going to get easier as you get older. Too. That's right. So you just create the habit. Uh -huh. You do that for 40 years, look, how, look at that, $349,000 in that account. Now you may have a 401k through your work, you may, you know, do other things, right. Roth or other things, but let's just say that you do this on your own just in a growth mutual fund type portfolio. A very simple way of doing it. Simple. 100 bucks a month, 25 bucks a week. We spend that on fast food, coffee, oh, sure. sodas, sure, sure, sure. things like that. So trying to keep this very realistic. Now, Let's say you don't get started at 25, right. you wait till you're 35. Okay. Well, you can see the difference. Same 100 bucks a month, same growth mutual funds, but 30 years instead of 40 years. At 65, instead of the bigger number of 349, you've only got 149,035. That's only 10 years difference. 10 years difference. So you saved $12,000 of investment Right. You didn't put it in, mm -hmm. but it cost you two hundred thousand dollars in lost investment earnings just for waiting that ten-year period of time. So if you have trouble with self-discipline, make it an automatic EFT monthly out of your checking mm -hmm. or out of an account straight into your like a brokerage type account. Right. You know, again, these are funds we don't want to use for our emergencies things like that. These are funds you want to earmark for long-term investment. And if it's out of sight, it's out of mind, and you probably won't fall back on that. And the first one the that you recommend, the automatic, really, it's a lot harder if you have to dole it out and put it than if it's already put there. Absolutely. You can forget about it a little easier that way. That's right. If you want to get real creative, yeah. do that inside a Roth IRA, uh, and then that all that money you accumulate is all tax-free down the road. So there's all kinds of creative things to think about. Plus you can diversify along the way. You don't have to have that one that you started with all the way through. You can have different investments along the way. Right. So you, there's lots of different things that you can do once you establish the habit of saving. So that's what I'd recommend you do. And if you want more info, go to the QR code or check yeah. us out online and we'll be glad to help. And, you know, and as you have said, it, it's never too late to at least put right. something in, but it's never too early, really. That's and right. And those numbers, I mean, that really proves that out. How much you can lose in 10 years. That's right. Just by waiting. And that's so, not, that's not heavy duty. That's just simple math. That's simple math. 
and it's a way for, for you to see the vision, the bigger picture. When you get to be our age, yeah. you're going to have a nice chunk of money to fall back on and do whatever you want with that. And, and you'll be very happy and congratulate yourself for taking some very good and simple advice. Bruce, That's right. always good seeing you. Thanks for being see with us. See you next week. Back to you guys.